know yeah yeah y'all know me hello everybody hey youtube Shh. so let's see let's try this again Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Haley. If you're new to my channel, I'm gonna need you to hit that subscribe button because some juicy stuff is about to happen. Thumbs up button and let's get into this video. Okay, so today's video is not a vlog nor a makeup video or your girl has recently just hit, I'm at like, I was supposed to do a giveaway for 200 subscribers, but just so much has been going on that I had to postpone it. Not that I mentioned it to anybody, but I postponed it. So um, now I'm at like 230 something and I figured this is the time to do a giveaway. So today's video is just gonna be, um, I'm going to do the get to know me tag and it's gonna be 10 questions about me, obviously. And then towards the end of the video, I will give you guys all the information that you need to know about the giveaway and how you can enter. So let's get right into this video. It says, what is your full name and were you named after somebody? My name is Haley Alexa Franklin. Um, as far as me being named after somebody, I'm not really sure. The story is growing up, my dad was obsessed with Holly Berry, Halle, Holly, Halle, Halle Berry. And so when he came, when I was conceived, they were like, okay, we're gonna go with Haley. And I got Haley, so. My mother's first name is is Alexis, so I guess they just incorporated Alexa for my middle name. That's all I know. Second question, where were you born? So I was born in Chicago, October 28th, 1996. I'll be 22 this year. Um, I was born in Chicago and we moved around a lot. So I started off in Chicago and then by elementary school, early elementary school, we moved to Tennessee because my mother was passing away from breast cancer. And then from Tennessee, we moved to Florida. And in Florida, I was there for, I was there in Florida for fourth and fifth grade, and then we moved back to Chicago. So back to Chicago, I am in sixth grade. And then I do sixth, seventh, and eighth grade at a school in Chicago called Audubon. And then after that, we moved back to Florida. So high school, freshman year, I start in Florida again, and I graduated in Florida. And now I am in Maryland with my family, my daughter and my boyfriend. Next question. Let's see. What is your favorite food? So my favorite food is seafood. I love seafood. I love crab legs. I love shrimp. I love mussels. I love everything seafood. Sushi, I haven't really got to like, try variety. I don't know if I'm 100% for sushi. I've tried a couple and I liked it, but, and then I've tried some that I didn't like. So it's just kind of like, I have to really get myself experienced with it. Hot wings, and when I say hot wings, I want my nose to be dripping a little bit. Like if my nose don't drip, they're not hot enough and I don't want them. I don't know why, but I just really love hot wings. They have to be hot. And then I love tacos. I can eat tacos. Quite often. Next, let's see how many tattoos and piercings do you have? So, for tattoos, I have about six. I have six tattoos, and then I have um, I have my belly button, I have my lower belly button, and then I have my chest. I used to have my hips pierced before I had got pregnant. I had my hips pierced. I had my tongue pierced this way. And I had the regular tongue piercing. And then I also had like a whole bunch going up with my ear. But um, now I just have my belly button, my lower belly button, and my chest. What is your favorite music genre? I love all music, country, rock, everything. I mean, not jazz and stuff. I don't really know jazz, but I love country music. I love rock music. I love rap. I love hip hop. I love R&B. I love all music all of it kind of just like if it sounds good if it means something to me then i like it next question what sports have you played sports i've played all sports my dad put me in pretty much everything except for soccer i don't think i played soccer but um the sport that i really like clung clung to was cheerleading and i did cheerleading ever since i could walk up to high school and in high school i stopped cheerleading junior year of high school and that was because I was just going through a lot of like I was going through a lot of stuff so I stopped cheerleading but cheerleading was my hardcore favorite if I could do gymnastics I would have done gymnastics 
but growing up my boobs were way too big to do gymnastics so I did cheerleading. So next question, have I ever had any surgery? So I did have surgery. I've never broken in anything. I've never broken any bones or anything like that, but um, I had a breast reduction the day before my 20th birthday. So that was like going on like two years now since I have my surgery. I was, so I started growing breast in like third grade. And by the time I reached high school, I was in the triple D. So a freshman, I was in a triple D in high school. And then by senior year, I was an E. And my problem with my breasts was that I've always had a very small body and my boobs were way too big. Pretty good, if you guys have any more questions about that, I would love to go into detail about it, but since I'm just trying to answer these questions, so you gotta let me know if you wanna hear more. But yeah, I had a breast reduction the day before my 20th birthday and it was the best thing that I've ever had. And I wish I can go a little smaller, but by the grace of God, I had insurance that paid for my surgery and yeah. Next question is, what was your first job slash job? So my very first job, I worked at JCPenney's and I was in the shoe department. That was pretty easy because all I had to do was, was deal with shoes. I didn't have to fold nothing or anything like that. That was pretty cool. I worked with a lot of older people, so I didn't have anybody to really kick it with while I was there. So it was kind of like meh. And I was a seasonal hire. And then when it came around to, you know, the season be over with, they fired me. So that was well, not fired, but I wasn't added on so that was that then I worked at a hookah lounge for quite some time and I was a server there I really liked it there that was pretty fun and then I worked at Red Lobster and at Red Lobster I was a host at first and then I switched to a different uh, Red Lobster restaurant and I ended up being the AC coordinator which is the alley coordinator and I was the one who prepped the food on your plate to make it look all nice and pretty and like that I was that person who did that and then gave it to the servers so it could be served. And then I did a lot of cleaning and other stuff, but those were like my first three jobs. And then, okay, so next question is, who are some of your favorite YouTubers? This list might be a little extensive, but I have to give shout outs to those needed. These are the, these are the YouTubers that my bell notification is on for them. Once they post a video, I have to watch it. Well, I don't have to, and I probably will put it in my watch later, but like, these are the girls that I would watch every day, like these YouTubers. So my very first one is, of course, Auntie Jackie, Jackie Ina. If you don't know her, you should probably go check out her channel. She's about 2.4 million subscribers. She exceeds beyond, in my opinion, what an influencer is supposed to do. She's real, she's honest, she's funny, She's smart, she's just, Jackie Ina is incredible. So I'll have that somewhere. So she's my first. Then my next one is Makeup by Shayla. And she's one of, I haven't been following her since like her very first come up in, in um, YouTube, but I've I watched her for quite, I've watched her for quite some time now and she's one of my favorites. My next one is Tiara Walker, top fave. Monica Style Muse. If you don't follow, if you don't subscribe to Monica Style Muse, I swear you're not. What are you doing with your life? The next, my next favorite is It's My Ray Ray. Ellery is another favorite. That's what I really enjoy about them is that they range from lightest of the skin tones to darker than me. So it's like I go to them, I go to each of them for different reasons, but they all do what they're supposed to do. They're all incredible influencers. Ali J is one of my favorites. And then for a YouTuber who's not like um not like a top tier YouTuber, her name is Naturally Nada, and she's one of my favorite um I want I don't wanna call her an amateur because the way that woman does her makeup, she's not an amateur to me. But as far as like being new to the YouTube scene. So and then the last question is what kind of phone do you have? And I have the um iPhone 10X. And no, I don't have a case because I won't drop it my baby so uh, for the giveaway all you have to do is first step is you have to follow me on Instagram second step is that you have to put a heart emoji on my most recent post so I know that you want to be a part of the giveaway and then comment down below in the description box below also if you want to be a part of the giveaway um, that's just two different ways that I can get people to um, be engaged in the giveaway I have people on my Instagram and I have people on my YouTube so if you go follow me and then you go leave me a heart in the comment box that would be much appreciated um, 
again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope this gives you a little sneak peek into my life. I can't wait to be able to grow with you guys. I can't wait to see the HD family grow. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, what else? Oh, okay. So for the giveaway, it's gonna be um, it's gonna be a bunch of Clinique products, as in facial and makeup. So that's what's gonna be for the giveaway.